Welcome everyone, I'm Xianyuan Li Chen, and I come from the Photogrammetry and the Robotics Lab, University of Bonn. Today, I will introduce our new work called Range Image Based LiDAR Localization for Autonomous Vehicles. Localizing in a pre built map is very important for mobile robots and autonomous driving cars. The Monte Carlo localization has been successfully used with particle filters for global localization with multimodal beliefs. Therefore, in this work, we use Monte Carlo localization with particle filters to estimate the pose of a mobile robot or an autonomous driving car to achieve global localization. The challenge of Monte Carlo localization is that the observation model is very important but can be hard to use in different environments with different types of LiDAR scanners. The contribution of this work is that we proposed a novel range image based observation model for Monte Carlo localization using the triangular mesh maps. Our methods can achieve good global localization results in changing outdoor environment. We also test our methods with multiple different datasets, and the experimental results show that it generalizes well to different environments using different LiDAR scanners. This is an overview of our approach. In this work, we propose a probabilistic global localization system for autonomous vehicles using a 3D LiDAR sensor. As shown in the figure, in the lower part, we first project the LiDAR point cloud into a range image, which is a light representation of the LiDAR scan. And in the upper part, for each particle in the mesh map, we generate synthetic range images rendered at each particle position from the triangular map. And based on such range images from both the projection of the current LiDAR scan and the renderings for each particle of the map, we proposed a new observation model for LiDAR-based global localization and integrated it into the Monte Carlo localization system to estimate the posterior of the pose of the robot. In the following slides, I will give more detailed information of each module of our methods. First of all, the range image representation. As shown in the animation, we use the so-called range projection to project the point cloud into a range image. The range image is a natural and lightweight representation of the scans from a rotating 3D LiDAR sensor, such as a Velodyne or Oyster scanners. In the range image, each pixel contains the range value of the corresponding 3D point. And based on such light representation, our methods achieve online operation after convergence. For a map representation in this work, we use the triangular mesh maps. We use Poisson surface reconstruction to obtain the representation of the map as triangular meshes from point clouds. There are several reasons to use triangular mesh maps. First, the triangular mesh maps are lightweight and continuous. For a small area, instead of saving a group of 3D points for each triangular mesh, we need to only store three vertices, which is very lightweight. Second, triangular mesh maps can better represent the occlusion relationship between different objects, which is also shown here in this figure. Furthermore, with triangular meshes, we can use GPU with OpenGL shaders to fast render in the range image views for each particle. And note that it is also not necessary for our approach to use the same LiDAR scanner to generate the mesh map. In other words, the mesh map can be generated by different sensors at different time. For example, using another type of LiDAR scanner or even a camera. After we get the triangular mesh map, we can then use GPU with OpenGL shaders to fast render in the range image views for each particle in the map. What we do in the runtime is actually just to give a bunch of particle positions and the triangular mesh map to the graphic card. And the graphic card can parallelly generate the synthetic range images for each particle, which is very fast and enables our methods to run online after converges. After we get the range image from the current LiDAR scans and the rendered synthetic range image for all particles, 
We can then design an observation model for moon color localization based on such range images. In this work, we use a very simple absolute difference-based model with a Gaussian distribution to describe the similarity between the current range image and the rendered synthetic range image for each particle hypothesis. Based on such similarities, we can then update the importance weight of the corresponding particle and in the end get the posterior estimation of the robot pose. Though it is simple, our observation model can estimate the likelihood for the whole state space including location and rotation at once using the same model, which is quite elegant and fast. Note that in this work, we mainly focus on designing a framework to use the range images and the mesh maps for LiDAR-based global localization. One could also easily use other methods to calculate the similarity between range images and integrate it into our pipeline. For example, using the cross-correlation or other feature or learning-based methods to calculate the similarity. Here we show a demonstration of using our methods to localize a vehicle in an urban environment. Here we zoom in to the localized area of the map. The black dots represent the particles. The orange line represents the reference trajectory and the blue line represents the estimated trajectory. As can be seen, the particles were first generated uniformly around the whole mesh map. After several iterations, you can see that the particles converged successfully to the correct location in a very short time. You can see that our method can successfully find the correct location globally. And now it keeps tracking the correct poses of the car. In the mesh map, the red parts represent the ground, while the blue parts represent the non-ground object. We separate the ground and non-ground meshes. With the non-ground meshes, we use a higher resolution to keep more details of the environment, while for the ground meshes, we use a lower resolution to further reduce the size of the mesh map. Our method uses only three LiDAR information as the input and without taking other information like GPS or images into account. And as can be seen, it can achieve global localization successfully. Here we show the trajectory of the localization result test on the IPB car dataset. The result illustrates that the proposed methods localize well in the pre-built mesh maps using only LiDAR data. And comparing to the baseline method, our new range image-based methods check the pose more accurately. Here we also show the quantitative results of using our localization system over different seasons. We built our map using the LiDAR scans collected in spring and test it with the data collected in autumn and in winter. And as can be seen, our method outperforms other baselines in terms of localization accuracy and has good generalization over different seasons. Here we also show the localization results of using our localization system on different datasets collected in different environments with different types of LiDAR scanners. The datasets we use here include the color simulator with five different types of LiDAR scanners from eight beams to 128 beams. The IPB car datasets collected in Germany with Oyster 64 and Muron datasets collected in Korea with Oyster 64 and Apollo datasets collected in the US with Validine 64. And as can be seen, our method achieves good global localization results on all different datasets, with location RMCE around half meter and yaw angle RMCE within four degrees in large scale outdoor environment. To summarize this work, first we proposed an approach to achieve global localization using only three LiDAR scans without taking other information into account. We propose a novel observation model that exploits range images and triangular mesh maps. The experimental results show that our approach generalizes well over different seasons 
and different environments with different types of LiDAR scanners. In the end, we successfully integrate our approach into the Monte Carlo localization and achieve good global localization results. The code of our approach has been released on our GitHub. Please feel free to give it a try. Thank you for your attention.